Hi friends, it's your old friend Mr. Stokely again with two more funny stories for you. They're by Dave Pilkey, who's one of my favorite funny authors, and he's also his own illustrator, so not only does he write, he illustrates. And you're familiar with him, even though you may not know it. He's the one who writes the Dogman books, he's the one who writes Captain Underpants, and several different stories. And tonight I have Dogzilla, and I've also got Dog Breath. And the reason why I picked two is because they're both very short. So here we go. Let's start with dog breath first. And feel free to laugh out loud if you want to. Here we go. Dog breath. The horrible trouble with halitosis. Once there was a dog named Hallie who lived with the Tosis family. Hallie Tosis was a very good dog, but she had a big problem. Hallie had horrible breath, and whenever Hallie Tosis opened her mouth, horrible things tended to happen. Peeling the wallpaper, goldfish died, Mona Lisa holds her nose, and she's got this green mist coming out of her mouth. Gross! When the children took Hallie Tosis for a walk, everyone else walked on the other side of the street. Even skunks avoided Halitosis. But the real trouble started one day when Grandma Tosis stopped by for a cup of tea and Hallie jumped up to say hello. Mr. and Miss Tosis were not amused. Something's gonna have to be done about that smelly dog, they said. So the next day, Mr. and Miss Tosis decided to find a new home for Hallie. And the sign they put in their yard says, Free dog to a good home. Well, the children knew that the only way they could save their dog was to get rid of her bad breath. So they took Hallie Tosis to the top of a mountain that had a breath-taking view. <gasps> oh, check this out, guys. It's a wanted poster, and it has two guys on it. It says, Wanted for Burglary. Keep that in mind. They had hoped that the breathtaking view would take Hallie's breath away. But it didn't. Check out the sun. Next, the children took Hallie Tosis to a very exciting movie. It's called Breath of a Salesman. They hoped that all the excitement would leave Hallie breathless. But it didn't. Even the actors in the movie are having to use air freshener. Finally, the kids took Hallie Tosis to a carnival. They hoped that Hallie would lose her breath on the speedy roller coaster. Lose your breath on our roller coaster, the sign says. Ah! And people weren't screaming because of the roller coaster. They were screaming because of Hallie's bad breath. That idea, it stunk too. So the plans to change Hallie's bad breath had failed. Now, only a miracle could save Hallie Tosis. Sadly, the three friends said goodnight, unaware that a miracle was just on the horizon. Boom, boom, boom. Later that night, when everyone was sound asleep, two sneaky burglars crept into the Tosis house. The two burglars were tiptoeing through the dark, quiet rooms when suddenly they came to Hallie. Yikes! said one burglar. It's a big, mean, scary dog! Oh, now don't be silly, said the other burglar. That's only a cute little fushy puppy. The two burglars giggled at the sight of such a friendly little dog. That dog couldn't hurt a fly, said one burglar. Come here, poochie, 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 said the other. So Halitosis came over and gave the burglars a great big fat kiss. <laughs> And the next morning, the Tosis family awoke to find the two burglars passed out cold on their living room floor. It was a miracle! The, t 
Tosis family got a big reward for turning into crooks, and soon Hallie Tosis was the most famous crime-fighting dog in the country. Look at some of the headlines. Mutant space dog captures evil Elvis clones. Panting pooch paralyzes the prowlers. And in the end, Mr. and Miss Tosis changed their minds about finding a new home for Hallie. They decided to keep their wonderful watchdog after all. This home is protected by dog breath, the sign says. Because life without halitosis wouldn't make any sense. Now, it's not sense. It's scent, like what you smell. Wah, wah, wah. And that is Dog Breath by Dave Pilkey. Well, our last book for the evening is Dogzilla. Also written and illustrated by Dave Pilkey. I love this story. It's so funny. And I hope you like it just as much. And here are the stars of the book. You have Flash as the Big Cheese. You have Rabies as Professor Scarlett O'Hare. You have Special Appearance by Dwayne as the Soldier Guy. And Leah as the Monster. Here we go. It was summertime in the city of Mouseopolis, and mice from all corners of the community had come together to compete in the first annual barbecue cook-off. And as the cook-off got underway, smoke from the hot grills lifted the irresistible scent of barbecue sauce over the rooftops of the city. A gentle wind carried the mouth-watering smell to the distance right over the top of an ancient crater. And before long, a strange and mysterious sound was heard. <laughs> and all at once, the volcano began to rumble. <laughs> and suddenly, from the very depths of the earth, came the most terrifying creature ever known to mouse kind, the dreadful Dogzilla. Boom, boom, boom. Immediately, soldiers were sent out to stop the mighty beast. The heroic troops were led by their brave commanding officer, the Big Cheese. All right, you old flea bag, said the Big Cheese. Get those paws in the air. You're coming with us. Without warning, the monstrous mutt breathed her horrible breath onto the mice. Doggy breath! screamed the soldiers. Run for your lives! Hey, come back here, said the big cheese to his troops. What are you, men or mice? We're mice, they said. Hmm, said the big cheese. Ha <laughs> ha, you're right. Wait for me. Ah! The colossal canine followed the soldiers back to Mousopolis, licking up all the food in her path. And afterward, Dogzilla wandered through the city streets, doing those things that come naturally to dogs. Dogzilla, she chased cars right off the freeway. She chewed furniture and the furniture store as well. Dogzilla dug up bones at the Museum of Natural History. That looks like Mickey Mouse to me. Hmm. Meanwhile, the Big Cheese had organized an emergency meeting with one of the city's great scientific minds, Professor Scarlett O'Hare. Gentle mice, said Professor O'Hare. This monster comes from prehistoric times. It's perhaps millions of years old. Maybe we could teach it to do something positive for the community. Hmm. Oh, I'm afraid not, said Professor O'Hare. You simply can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, if we're going to defeat this dog, we've got to think like a dog. We've got to find something that all dogs are afraid of. Something that will scare this beast away from Alsopolis forever. I've got an idea, said the Big Cheese. Suddenly, a blast of warm, sudsy water hit Dogzilla with a tremendous force. The panicking pooch let out a burst of hot, fiery breath, and the chase was on. The Big Cheese tried to catch up to the hot dog with all the relish he could muster. 
Oh my goodness, they're putting shampoo and cream rinse on Dogzilla. I think that's pretty smart because dogs hate baths. Dogzilla high-tilted out of town and back to the mouth of the ancient volcano. Well, I'll be doggone, said the big cheese. With the horrifying memory of the bubble bath etched in her mind forever, Dogzilla never again returned to Mouseopolis. Well, within a year, Mouseopolis had rebuilt itself, just in time for the second annual barbecue cook-off. The mice of Mouseopolis fired up their grills, confident that they would never see or hear from Dogzilla again. However, there was one thing that they hadn't counted on. Puppies! And that is Dogzilla. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed them. Love you all very, very much. Have a great day, and I'll be talking to you all soon. Bye now.